Garvey that can be attacked. Because if you compare the accomplishment of Marcus Garvey and Elijah Muhammad, and, and no way in form if I'm trying to take nothing from Marcus Garvey's accomplishment or Elijah Muhammad's accomplishment, I'm saying Elijah Muhammad learned from Marcus, Marcus Garvey. Not all just the accomplish, accomplishments of Marcus Garvey, but he learned from his mistakes. And you could tell that Elijah Muhammad, when it came to uh, economics, was a little more uh, savvy than Marcus Garvey. That is just the truth. Elijah Muhammad was more savvy when it came to the uh, the economical side of things than Marcus Garvey. And if you don't think that your economics have to be on point when you start a new nation, you 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 lost your mind or you haven't found your mind. Because if you don't have your economics right when you try to start a new nation and if you're trying to get land or go to a different land, you're gonna you're gonna fail. Every, you're gonna fail every time. Now, what I do appreciate about Marcus Garvey is this: that the amount of original people that he had to stand up at that time in the early 1900s and be proud and what he did with the parade. Now, this is why the, I say the, the parade that he was doing was um, was a good idea. When you see one, two, three black men walking around in this type of uh, uniforms and suits that he wore, you would look at them crazy. But when you see a parade of them showing, you know, a uh, flam uh, flamboyant style, showing uh, prosperity in a parade, that can help boost the self-esteem of young black boys and young black girls. Uh, our Supreme Allah, are you familiar? Let me give you another example that's plain and simple. If you watch the documentaries, if you watch the videos of Malcolm X, now you know. If you study the Supreme Wisdom or, or 120, we wasn't calling ourselves African. There was times where I've seen where Malcolm X, he didn't say black. He would say African, African, African. And that was directly to aggravate Elijah Muhammad. He was doing this. He, he was doing what rappers do now when they do the subliminal disses. Malcolm X was doing that type of stuff. When I would watch some of his videos now, I catch a lot of the subliminal stuff that he was doing that he was doing on purpose to, to aggravate Elijah Muhammad. Now, if you've been taught for that long, call us original people or the black race, and we don't deal with the vis the of titles like African, and I'm not knocking people that call themselves Africans. We're, I, I'm explaining why when you say I'm African, or you say I'm Puerto Rican, or you say I'm Dominican, or you say I'm African American, or Jamaican, or Haitian, how that uh, brings brings on division. That's what I'm speaking on. So don't get it confused and say all oh, self-kingdom hate Africans. Don't confuse what I'm saying. I'm saying that when you use the vis of uh, titles, it causes division. And Elijah Muhammad understood that. Now, that's one thing that Malcolm X was taught. And But instead of calling black people original people, and most of his speeches after the first uh, skirmish he had with Elijah Muhammad, you would notice that he would start saying African this, African this, African this, African that. You know what I'm saying? So you would see that he was subliminally... You don't have a sperm. You have a degenerated egg that does not produce. It sparks. It sparks, but it just it does not produce. And if anybody has ever, if anybody has ever studied um, tadpoles, you understand what I'm talking about. They're an egg, 
and then they're a tadpole. You don't have a sperm. You have a degenerated egg that does not produce. It sparks. It sparks, but it just it does not produce. And For your bitches, female rappers too. I don't give a fuck, boo. Words for your bitches, female rappers too. I don't give a fuck, boo. Words for your bitches, female rappers too. I don't give a fuck, boo. Words for your bitches, female rappers too. I don't give a fuck, boo. Words.